Hi friends, uh, in this small video we will show you how to change the LCD of uh, HP 540. This will also uh, cover how to change the keyboard of this particular laptop. So, as with all the laptops, you need to just remove the battery. As you can see, we have removed the battery. And there are these, these three screws which we have to remove which are holding the panel. Keep these screws aside. You have to remove these two screws also. For this you need uh, these. Uh, you need this kind of a bit, as you can see. Just need to change the bit of your screwdriver so that it comes out. As you can see the screw is something like this. It does not come out with a regular star screwdriver. Even this screwdriver. This is to remove the hinges of the laptop. The same way with uh, this particular part also. keyboard you need to remove uh, some additional screws here as you can see we have to remove uh, this screw which also uh, requires this kind of a bit so we'll even here there is another screw there are markings on the base of the laptop where the keyboard is uh, located uh, as you can see this is a marking for you to understand that uh, this is where the keyboard uh, screws are located. This basically is used for uh, removing the DVD drive as you can see. I'll just remove the DVD writer here. So there's two screws. Now we need to just uh, reverse the laptop and open it. Very slowly and gently just uh, remove this panel that you can see here. Just remove it, it will be very tight as you can see here. So, this is very gentle before removing this particular panel. And uh, after removing this, please note that there is a small connector inside just connecting these two. So, just don't remove it and uh, screw the uh, keyboard and after removing the keyboard you will be as you can see the thing is entirely uh, been glued in the inside as you can see that is the reason it was not coming out so there were no other screws here actually so there is this glue which was holding the keyboard so just need to be very gentle on uh, pushing this thing out. Just need to remove the... Uh, this is your keyboard and you can change the keyboard if you want to. So, uh, remove uh, the hinges out of the base of the machine. So as you can see... Remove this screw here. And this part of the hinge just pops out. This very small screw, uh, if you could see here, this screw that has to be removed for removing the hinges. And uh, you get the panel out as you can see now so the panel is out now we just need to change the, these small rudders that are there placed here we remove these rudders and there will be screws that will be exposed
you need to be very sure before opening the HP 540 to have this uh, kind of a bit for your screwdriver otherwise you cannot small chisel that we have on the screwdriver to separate the panel where the LCD is sandwiched the front and the back panel and be very gentle in this process otherwise it might just break and might have to pay a little extra for the LCD paneling Just give a little pressure on the joints and you'll see them come apart. And now you can see this entire panel coming out. You need to remove these screws again to unseat the LCD which is there sandwich between the front and the back panel of the LCD panel. screw here which you can see which you need to unscrew a lot of screws for this HP 540 we have unscrewed today and this is the way it comes out so you can this this is the inverter board if you want to change the inverter board of HP 540 you can just Change this thing. This is the part where you have to disconnect the VGA cable. The VGA cable comes out like this, and this entire hinge has to be removed as you can see. The panel is holding the hinges also, so we need to unscrew the hinges. Keep these small screws uh, aside. Side. So 
kill you. Just need to remove the motherboard from the existing LCD. Uh, time to change the LCD now. 